What is a trapped nerve in the neck or shoulders? This is a very, very common question that we get asked and patients come in complaining of these sort of trapped nerves and really we thought we'd take time to explain this to you uh, because a lot of people use YouTube to try and understand or self-diagnose and, and take this information on board and obviously go and see some, profes seek some professional advice from us or whoever's closest to you uh, by all means. But essentially the trapped nerve myth is that any pain out here is some sort of trapped nerve that is kind of locked up in a muscle. People commonly say, I've got a trapped nerve right here and it's that sharp pain that is a, a pinpoint pain in the muscles. Where is it coming from? What is it? Invariably, it's something that's coming from the neck rather than the actual shoulder muscles themselves. Nerves don't get trapped away from the spine in these muscles here, apart from an extreme, uh, very, very, very unlikely circumstances. The main area they get irritated, or the joints of the neck get irritated, is in the cervical spine through here, and also the same applies to the lumbar spine. And the reason you get that sharp pain in a location away from the spine is because those particular joints in the neck refer to different parts of the shoulders. So the joints in the middle part of the neck and the lower part of the neck where my collar is here will refer to the corner of the shoulder blade on the inside, a little bit lower than there and also across here. So if you catch these joints, say you're someone at work that slouches a lot like that in front of the computer, you're constantly rubbing these joints and it's, it, in, in a lot of cases, it's just one-off event. You get called by someone across the office, you turn your head quickly, and because that joint's already rubbing against the other one, it just nicks the, the, the delicate membrane around that facet joint, and that gives you that referred pain straight to that point in the shoulder. And then all of a sudden, you do any movements, you get any sharp, you get that sharp pain, and it's classically called a trapped nerve. In reality, it's not a trapped nerve. You've just strained a joint in the neck commonly the facet joints and it's the for, for, for those who want a little more detail it's generally the synovial membrane of that facet joint that gets nicked they're very very pain sensitive structures this is very different to sort of discogenic pain pain coming from the cervical uh, discs if you've slipped a disc or got a bulging disc that's generally much more general much more widespread non-specific pain but one of the things that's very important that you understand about this is by flexing your neck further forwards is the common activity to do to try and stretch these muscles. It's not generally as helpful as one would think. One exercise that works particularly well for this is using a small rolled up towel and lying over it with the nape of your neck just behind the neck here so you can support that natural lordosis. That takes the pressure off these joints and can be quite relaxing because it decreases the mechanical compression through that neck. You can try this a couple of times a day, just lie on the floor or on the bed uh, somewhere quiet for three to four minutes and just relax there. And when you get off, just hold your head nice and steady and then roll off to the side, don't twist your neck. That'll give a little bit of support and take the pressure off that slightly irritated joint. As well as that, you can use things like ice over that area there. We generally recommend three to five minutes. If you start going into the research and different opinions on ice, you'll get confused tremendously. That's what we do, that's what works. Other people will recommend different things. Do whatever you want, but that's our, our take on it. And do not use heat on the muscles because that is not dealing with the problem, even though it'll feel quite nice. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, remember you can subscribe to our channel so you get updates, hit the notification icon if you're watching this now on your desktop. And also there'll be a few videos just on the one side here that may be of interest. And remember, share the page with other people that may find it helpful. Most back pain can be resolved and avoided if it's dealt with soon or quickly with the right advice.